Hello babes, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing. I'm trying to keep myself busy at home and one thing I've been doing is my own nails at home. So I figured I would show you guys. I'm someone who is crazy about my nails, okay? And a lot of you guys wanted to see how I do this entire tutorial, but I actually enjoy doing my nails, so I do take my own time. By the way, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And also don't forget to click that notification bell right beside the subscribe button. It'll send you a notification every single time I post a brand new video so you guys don't miss any. And also don't forget to follow me on IG. It is at Steph and shoot Macedo. I've really been loving these short nails so I had my long nails as you guys know if you're not new to my channel you know that I typically like to wear long nails what I did was I chopped mine with just a nail cutter and I left a little bit of a tip so that I can have some length I'll show you guys what they look like right now they're a little bit of a mess and what I did prior to this was push back my cuticles just a little bit just so I can have a tiny bit more length plus I like to shape the cuticles a little bit okay so let's go through every single thing that we're gonna need so we have here I don't even know how to pronounce this brand but we're gonna need builder base I got this one by Amy Lee I guess you can call the brand from Amazon so this builder gel is gonna give you the strength to your nail the next one we're gonna be using is no wipe top coat this is also UV LED to be honest with you guys I don't use base coat but um, you can buy them separately or you can buy them in a pair if you do want to do the whole step do base coat and then do your color and then top it off with the top coat I don't have a dehydrator so basically what the dehydrator is going to do is basically dehydrate the nail so that all moisture gets off of it all oils are going to be taken away because oils love to sit at the back over here and then the oil will get underneath the gel and that's where it can lift and basically your manicure will not last as long just make sure you guys don't have any like cream on your hands or anything like that because there's or especially serums or oils because that's not going to help out this manicure so they also say the nail salon to avoid soaps because some soaps have like oils inside of them too the next thing you're going to be needing is a hand drill an electric drill just like this the nail drill also comes with these little heads too and the next thing you're going to need is literally a nail file there's a bunch of them on amazon it's a hundred and one eighty um grit um nail file that you guys can use i have two different ones here my favorite part is shaping oh my god i just want to get to that part already yeah i like to use this one for shaping but i also use this one as well or if i have to like get a little tiny piece of something at the back here I can also use this but honestly you really just need this one for shaping next thing is this gel polish I think I'm gonna use this one light kind of whitish pink There's so many though from this brand that I can link down below for you guys that's so affordable and they come in sets so if it has a bunch of different colors it might be more worth it to get this cuticle clippers these are really great obviously to clean up the cuticles we're gonna need some cotton pads this is gonna just be used to swipe your nail with some alcohol this is just regular rubbing alcohol i have like a quarter left of and i'm really trying to save it so let's get started in front of me all i have is some paper towels so that all of our sanding can fall on top of and i also have an extra towel white towel underneath the first thing we're going to do is obviously take off our color off of here and what we're going to be using for that and the best one for that is this guy over here just be careful when you guys are using this and what I recommend if you guys are a beginner is to start off really slow I can also leave a full tutorial on how to use this and kind of what people recommend down below and to be honest I feel like everybody's going to develop their different techniques I also don't do it the exact way if someone was doing it on me I also like to move up like this and stuff like that so honestly just work out your own technique and don't feel like you have to do it like everybody else when I'm doing my left hand I like to go down and then when I'm doing the opposite hand I like to go up and I also don't go too fast just to keep it on the safe side honestly when it comes to the top area over here I really like to avoid using too much of this and then we'll be using one of these guys because these guys do not cut me but this one can really kind of cut you so I like to do my nails this way and I like to pull down and then when I'm doing it this way again I pull down my skin and go slowly especially if it's your first time you guys you want to kind of get comfortable with it don't be scared just go slowly you can't really go wrong but that is basically what it looks like when the color is removed don't worry about again getting too close to the back over here so I'm gonna go ahead and do all the other ones so I can get all the color off and we'll move on to the next step so this is what it looks like when you are done by the way i can tell that this bit is starting to run out the good thing about that is it comes with so many extras they actually gave me a bag of extras like a little mini bag we're going to be using this bit next over here this skinnier one this one cannot 
um, cut your skin, you guys. Obviously, if you go like directly right over here and you're going at like high speed, yeah, you might cut it because it's a flat surface and it's, you know, it's kind of like pointy right over there, right? I'm saying like if you go like this on your skin, you will not cut yourself. That's the beauty that I learned from the tutorial I watched. So this one, to be honest, is just gonna take out a little bit more extra of like the little bits and pieces that we kind of missed. It's just going to kind of make the surface a little bit more, just basically less bumpy, you know? Showing you guys, I'm putting it on my skin. It's not cutting me. Just to, you know, make you guys a little bit more comfortable. So with the other one, try to avoid going like all the way to the back. Um, just because it is like, it definitely will cut you and it'll burn like if you go right on top of your nail too much because that's how strong it is. It's going to sand down your actual natural nail. So I'm going to do the rest of the nails and we'll be back with the next step. So that part again is just going to smooth out your nails a little bit more. When you feel them, they're going to feel a lot more like less bumpy. So the next one we're going to be using because we still haven't got like towards the back over here and the sides and stuff like that. You can if you're more intermediate with this, but I feel like they already give you the bits that's meant for it. So why not use them? So I'm gonna be using this guy. This one is more if you want to clean underneath your nail, which is really great. It'll clean up any dirt. Again, with this one, you can get around the side. See how I'm getting super close and it's not cutting me whatsoever. And you're also wanting to get any of the top coat that might have like, you know, bled a little bit further than your color. It's also going to help pass time right now. So I definitely recommend to try doing your own nails at home and see if you like it. So I'm gonna finish off the rest of the nails and we'll be back with the next step. I forgot to bring my gel lamp. So you guys also need a UV lamp, which I will show you guys once we're in the drying process. But this is what my nails look like. Basically it took as much as I possibly could. The main technique that you wanna make sure you're doing is to get everything off evenly because you don't wanna stay in one spot too long. That's another tip I have. And when you look at your nail like from the side and kind of rotate it, you can see if it's like, you know, kind of bumpy or if you kind of sanded to over here too much and now there's like a little groove there. Um, but they should be nice and smooth. You really want to kind of worry about that more after you're done applying your builder gel because you want to make sure that the nail looks as natural as possible. With this, I'm just going to quickly go over the nail with this because it's just going to give it kind of a surface to kind of stick to, even though it already will. I just like to kind of go over the nail really quickly with it. You guys will need one of these to dry obviously your gel this one is by sun pro and i will leave it down below for you guys i wanted to show you guys is what you can also do is use this guy over here and kind of go over and do that last step or you can also use this to get off any extra color that you guys are noticing that you didn't take off just have like a last look at them especially if you guys are going to be doing a really kind of see-through color and i love this so much you guys are going to notice that it is very very thick and that again is because it's not like a top coat or base coat so you want to do a thin coat and you do want to go to the back and then what you want to do is dry it inside of here for a minute or two i like to do about a minute and a half on here for each layer so that it is fully cured so i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the nails and we're going to dry them inside of here okay so we have our first layer this is what it looks like you're gonna put it inside of here it might sometimes depending on your lamp it might like give you a little tingling burning feeling yeah it just did just remove it for a couple of seconds and it also has a timer so i'm just gonna put it on 60 seconds over there and i like to do a minute and a half the other thing i love about this one you guys the main reason why it's like such a good beginner is because the other ones that come inside of like the little uh, containers you have to use the brush and i notice i just feel like you have to develop a little bit more of a technique whereas this one it almost makes me feel like i'm applying gel polish so i find these really really super easy especially if it's your first time all right guys so it just finished drying we're going to be doing probably two to three coats honestly it really just depends the other thing that you need to consider is that we're going to be sanding this off with the smoother bit so just kind of compensate for that as well so you do want to make them a little bit more on the thicker side than what you really want to finish off at because you are going to sand them off if you have short nails i feel like you can go more thin if you have long nails you don't want to go too thin you we're going to be applying two to three more coats. I'm gonna see what it looks like and we'll be right back. So I did four coats, you guys, so they're done drying and then I'm gonna move on to this hand over here. You wanna grab a um, cotton pad 
and you want to put some rubbing alcohol and you want to remove the excess that's on top basically the tackiness that's on top the residue that's it now when you feel it it's not tacky anymore and everything is completely dry so we're gonna move on to this hand so obviously right now these look like a little bit chunky and kind of bubbly in person you guys probably can't see it too much um, but we're gonna move on to this hand do four coats on here and then we're gonna get to the other step so both of my hands are done with the gel this is what they look like and now we're going to be kind of smoothing out um, the gel what you want to keep in mind when you're doing this step this is gonna you know show if the nail is even is it bumpy this way on the side so you really want to kind of overall go evenly over the nail no matter what you do you don't want to stay too long in one spot and then i keep looking at it you know side by side or up and down like this and i see if there's any other area that i need to sand down I make it go a little bit faster because you know we're not playing around at this point you know what i'm saying let me finish this up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Show you guys a close up. So this one is way more even overall, whereas this one has like bumps on it because it's obviously has the gel. So this is what you kind of want to do. Make sure it's all even from the sides and everything and from the front and basically kind of figure out how thin you guys want them. That part takes the most um, time because you have to really make sure everything is kind of similar, make sure the thicknesses are kind of similar as well or equal. And next is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite part. I love shaping my nails. I'm just going to be doing um, square with a little bit of tapered. So I like to angle in a little bit and then angle over here a little bit and you get a little bit of a coffin kind of shape and it looks really really cute i like my corners to be nice and sharp this one is not shaped yet and this one is nice and clean has the sharp edges so just make sure the front is nice and straight and you have a little angle on each side everybody's going to be a little bit different with their preference in this step so some of you might like round almond perfectly square but for me i just like to angle the edges just a little tiny bit and i'm going to continue shaping and i'll show you guys once they are done look at this shape i love 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 this part i could seriously go on and on and on forever now we're going to remove this guy over here this paper towel because it has all the sanding we're going to leave the towel underneath and we're going to go wash our hands right now make sure to not use any soap we're going to take some more rubbing alcohol just to remove any excess um, oils that may be on the actual nail because you don't want that it will cause your gel to lift I'm actually thinking of getting a dehydrator um, I just didn't order one I don't have a base coat but if you guys want to use a base coat you guys can do that one thing I like to do is I like to grab a buffer to get any of those imperfections in the nail before you start painting it quickly over it with the alcohol again I'm gonna be switching to bubble bath with the other one, it seems like you have to apply it a lot of times, whereas bubble bath, you don't have to. It actually looks like it's really pink, you guys, but it's really kind of see-through. You want to apply thin coats of gel. You don't want to go too thick. And then basically only apply however many coats you want from one to three. I honestly think with this one, I'm just going to apply one coat. I just want it to be very, very bare. So we're just putting inside of the dryer right now, you guys, for one minute. I think I'm actually going to do two coats so that it's a little bit more of a pop of pink instead of just very, very neutral. Plus, one coat sometimes makes it, like, really streaky, so you also want to be careful with that, too. If you want it to look really even, the more co coats you do, the better it kind of turns out and more evenly. I used this already once, and it works really, really good. And again, it's so affordable. This is our color compared to our nails. It's just a very kind of like light manicure kind of pink. So we just want to apply a coat of our top coat. And then again, we're going to put it inside of our dryer for 60 seconds. We just finished painting our nails. I love the color. I feel like it's so nice and neutral. Sometimes the gel gets on the corners and stuff. So you just wanna kind of sharpen up the shape. Now I just like to go in with the cuticle cutter. If you want, you guys can do a manicure and kind of dip your hands inside of warm water. We're gonna be using some oil. I just have some rose oil. No need to put like a full drop cause you can just kind of use up what you have from one and you just wanna rub it into your cuticles. And that's basically it, you guys are finished manicure it looks so nice and clean and i had so much fun showing you guys hopefully you guys can use these tips and these products at home when you guys do your nails 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'm so happy with my new nails. I was dying to do them but I waited so that I can do it with you guys for you guys and I've linked everything down below in the description box. As you guys can tell the sun has come out which is great because I think we can use a lot of sun right now. So I'm going to enjoy it a little bit. You guys are going to have a ton of fun doing it at home but it does take a little bit of practice and yeah just kind of enjoy it. For me doing my nails is relaxing. Oh my god I'm so in love with them. Don't forget to give this video a big like if you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more nail stuff or more tutorials in general, leave some feedback down below. Let me know what other tutorials you guys want to see on my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. Also click that bell right beside the subscribe button so you guys get notified for all of my brand new videos. And also follow me on IG. It is at Steph G. Macedo. Thank you guys so much. There's more content coming to the channel. And don't forget to check out there's a wedding in a day. There's a brand new nasty girl haul. There's a boohoo haul and just so many other videos if you guys are kind of bored at home. There's plenty of content. I'll see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.